penalty is, is, is its own, own philosophy. So uh, what, you, what you try as a, as a goalkeeper is uh, yeah, to take control of the penalty. And uh, yeah, every, every goalkeeper has his own, uh, own technique to do that. The ball on the left where he moved leaving. And uh, it was successful on, on the weekend, so uh, it was quite good. And then is uh, Pat dus the winner from uh, this psychological spelletje. Of course we speak a lot, but uh, we will not uh, we will not give our our secret now uh, for everybody. So um, yeah, we speak about it. Yeah, I'm Sasha Matt, and I'm 28, and I came from uh, Austria, so one hour below of Vienna. It's on the Hungarian border. There I grew up, but I didn't live there as long because uh, then I went for football with 14 uh, from home in the boarding school. So I just spent there 14 years of my life. And after one year, they took me from this cooperation school and then I was at Austria Vienna, which is one of the biggest clubs in Austria. Yeah, it was a tough time, with a lot of learnings, but I made it then finally to, to Austria Vienna, what was my, my big goal uh, when I was a small boy. Yeah, my drive was... Uh, I wanted to be at Austria Vienna. I was born and, uh, and my father uh, put me a, a scarf of, of uh, Austria Vienna. So that was, uh, yeah, that was somehow uh, fixed that I have to go to this club. Uh, yeah, my father was goalkeeper as well. So I was born with gloves and, and, and I don't even was born. And I had my first football shoes. So it was lying there and just waiting that I, I, I will be born. Spe speaking every day with my father, with my, with my mother. We're phoning every day. And yeah, they really, yeah. A bit proud that I got now here. It was a yeah, hard way, tough way. Um, after the, the playing career, that stopped uh, then because I was small, I was not good enough, summing all up. And then, yeah, I have to find a, another path to, to professionalism. And uh, it was then, yeah, with coaching. Then I get uh, involved with Admira Wacker, which is also a Bundesliga club in, 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 uh, in Austria where I took the, took the youth teams and, and the academy and uh, helped Walter, Fran Walter Franta with, uh, with, with all the stuff in goalkeeping. And he mentored me very good in, in that time. And yeah, and then I made the big step to Red Bull Salzburg. It was, was really, really great. And, and, and there I, I could work with, with a lot of uh, uh, good goalkeeper coaches, um, especially with Hans Leitert and, and Stefan Loch, who, who both uh, took me to side and, and teach me everything that I know now uh, about uh, about uh, goalkeeping and uh, yeah, it was a really, really, really good time there to, to learn and, and to grow as a person. Yeah, some, some guys from, from Red Bull Leipzig uh, went, uh, went uh, down to, to Kazakhstan and they phoned me and said, hey, we become professional coaches up down there. And uh, I had a bit of clue how the club look, looks because we played uh, we have a youth league against them. So I heard a lot of stories from the, from, from the guys they were down there and I thought just, oh, if I have the opportunity to coach, uh, to coach professionals, I have to take, take this chance. And uh, yeah, not just that I, I, I coach professionals, uh, it was also a totally different environment, a totally different country, a uh, yeah, totally different language. And I always wanted to make an adventure or, or yeah, more stuff that uh, maybe the normal, normally people don't do. And uh, that's why I, I thought, okay, let's do that. And uh, I'm 26, why not? Yeah, thank you, Mr. Gunnar. Yeah, it was a kind of an interesting thing. Um, I had, uh, if I'm honest, I, I don't had the, the Netherlands really in my head when I came back from Kazakhstan. But then uh, I got involved with this assessment that uh, the FC Groningen made. It was a tough assessment. I had three rounds of, of creating analysis, uh, making, asking, uh, they asked questions, uh, and it, it finally ended up here with, uh, with a pitch session. And uh, yeah, after that, I, I, was, I was the last. And uh, then they asked me, OK, you want, you want to be here? And uh, I said, yes, why not? I um, always, uh, if we do something on the pitch, there is a, a lot of preparation. And uh, after, uh, um, after the game, also a lot of analysis or after the trainings. And we never do something on the pitch just to do something or just to kick some balls. Um, there is always uh, a sense behind it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Doing, uh, doing that what you love. So it's, uh, I always compare it with uh, if I would have a, a 40 hours uh, job in the office, I also would go to the pitch in the afternoon and kick some balls and, and train with goalkeepers. So that's a big honor to, to, to do it uh, all the day. 
and uh, and that that drives me a lot that I do that what I what I like that I, uh, what yeah what like I explained before what uh, was meant to me when I came to the world when I was born so um, and now I can do that uh, really all the time on on the day and um, that's a big uh, a big honor and. Uh, and a really big thing for me and it drives me every day that uh, that I have the privilege what maybe others not have to be a professional uh, uh, goalkeeper coach.